Hello everyone, welcome again and uh, today we'll see uh, the demo of alumni management project in Spring Boot. Uh, so if we talk about the technology for the front ends using JSP and uh, JSP, JPA and HTML, CSS and Bootstrap thing, to manage the back end thing it's using Spring Boot as uh, a database it's using MySQL database and as a framework database framework it's using Hibernate. So uh, currently as an ID as we are using STS tool and if you have this project already and you want to run it in your machine now you can uh, follow me uh, to run the project and how can you operate the application from the front end. Uh, let's move to the database and check some uh, tables over there. So if you see here into my MySQL workbench we have a database alumni management system in Spring Boot. Uh, so we have uh, some tables here, admin table, alumni table, uh, apply job, events, uh, and feedback, gallery, job, and participant, placements, and stuff. So we have three kind of users. Our first is admin, alumni, and the uh, staff. Okay, so here let's move to the application again. And to run the application, and just make sure uh, you have the project in this state. So if you are going to buy this project from the code one, uh, the support team will uh, give you project and the sh uh, set up the complete project at your machine and it will look like the same as currently showing you in my machine. So to run the application, uh, just open the application file, alumni management system application, go right click on that, go to run as, click on run as a Spring Boot app. Uh, after some time you will check this console and over the console you will see the application is running, Tomcat is started. And the port number is 8081. Uh, now go to application dot properties file under the resources and check the application name. Just copy this name and open your browser and enter localhost and the port number in my case it's 8081 and the name of the application. When I enter hit it will launch the application. It has some static page at the overview of at the welcome page like uh, home page about us contact us some static pages are there after that as I uh, said we have a three different roles so we have a three different sign in and sign out option so I can sign in as an admin I can sign in as an alumni I can sign in as a, as, uh, as a staff and I can register into the application as an alumni and I can register as a staff Okay, let's log in as an admin and check what admin can perform. Then we'll see other operations and other users, what other option users can perform over there. So when I view the data for the admin table, I just right click on this and select the first option and you will see we have an email ID and the password for this admin user. So I enter the email ID and the password admin at the rate 123. When I hit the login button, sign in button, I have one option to add an admin so if is there i want to add a new admin into the application i can add that and that admin is added successfully now uh, if i refresh this admin table i will definitely see the new records over there okay so admin have an option to add a new admin also admin can add a new event in case if is there any event admin can this event and I can uh, currently I can keep the status as update and event date as today's date and click on the save button. Now I can check all the listed event over there uh, active or inactive event into the system. Also I can perform the crude operation like delete the record or edit the record. To delete the record I just need to select this option click that. Okay, to delete the record, I just need to select this or checkbox click that delete button. The record will be deleted. Other option we have edit option under the action section I can edit the records events uh, when I go to participants I can check the list of participants that are going to participate for that particular event under the add gallery I can check uh, I can add images for the for any event or any placement ceremony let's say for this event I want to add an image so let's say I add this image for this event and I click on the save button that added gallery images get added into the gallery you will see this image here so uh, i can check the gallery images here also other option we have as a job so as an admin i can check the job that job will be added by the alumni only 
under the placement section i can check the placements of the users of the students under the feedback section i can uh, uh, see the as an admin admin can see the feedbacks by the other alumni or the students also can perform the code operation like delete and search some common option we have my profile change password and log out when i hit the log on but log out button it's log out from the admin section now let's log in as an alumni i click on the alumni sign in and now i'm going to view the data of alumni table and here we have many records so here is my email id uh, you can register as a new alumni as well but i'm using some existing record to show the demo because uh, the data is available for this uh, users and i enter the password i hit the sign in button i can check the events if as an alumni i, I want to uh, participate in particular event i can participate in that and other option we have a gallery add job as an alumni if i'm going to add new job the job will be displayed with the users the job is added successfully when i hit the jobs so i can see the new jobs over there the job will be displayed to uh, students or uh, users that can apply for the job okay now <clears throat> we have my event i can apply for the job like all the job uh, like the user that applied for any uh, job you will see the list here so as an alumni or as a company hr or some user i can check the resume of that particular user so that's currently it's, uh, uh, have only some dummy data okay under the placement section i can check the placements i can check i can add a new feedback also now let's log in as an admin or a staff members and then check how can i access over here so under the staff i just log in with this user and the password is there i hit the sign in button showing me invalid why okay i have to hit the sign in as a staff first then i can enter this email id as a sign in option and the password to validate the user okay what i can do here i can see the jobs here if i want to apply as a job so i can apply on the job i can just enter the name i can just enter the email address i can enter the contact number i can enter the pdf some resume and all and click on the save button so i applied for the job under the job list under the placement list i can check the placement i can add the feedback as i stuff now is log out here and now if you check the participant and the placements has a record so if a user want to uh, like uh, add a new participant or new placements record so admin have that access so admin can add that records over there so this is complete alumni system uh, so there are different different alumni uh, this is kind of system that uh, compare with uh, like you can uh, take imagination of your placements in your college so company will come their alumni will come and they create a uh, placement sales and they create an event all the placements are going on over there during the placement so in case you need the source code and you want uh, you can contact easily uh, you can easily contact us over the whatsapp email or uh, skype also as we have a remote support so don't worry about the configuration and set up the things that must that you must see code one team will be available remotely to help you and also in case you need an internal explanation of the source code if you are preparing for interview or um, as interviewer for college viva you can contact us so thank you